It's early spring in the Virginia Piedmont. It's the last week of March. We're out here identifying invasive garlic mustard. So right now, this is about what you're seeing is rosettes of green leaves. You can see they have a heart-shaped indentation at the base. They might be more round or a little more heart-shaped. They've got a wavy rippled edge to them, a lot of distinctive veining. You can see what they look like underneath. And in a very short number of weeks, the flowers are going to start to appear. Creamy white flowers, the plant will bolt and then it will produce seeds pretty quickly. You can see it there, and there, and there, and there. When you pull garlic mustard, what you'll also notice is it has a creamy white taproot. It always has this distinctive S bend in it. It's very easy to pull. Here's another clump of garlic mustard and another key identifying feature. If I pick the leaves and crush it and smell it, it's going to smell distinctively like garlic. So that's one way you can tell it apart from our native violets. Our native violets will never smell like garlic. For more information, check out our fact sheets at blueridgeprism.org.